mystery. I've got several books about uh, crime solving badass girls, and they were written by Agatha Christie. First, I've got The Chimney Saga. There's two books, they both set at chimneys or things happening in chimneys, and they're both led by Bundle, Eileen Brandt. It's a gym that she's done in, in more books, which is really cool. She's uh, so plucky and whatever, uh, additive. I feel like a strong female character in the 1920s or wherever it happens. There's one that's called They Came to Baghdad, which has this girl trust in the middle of a uh, conspiracy <laughs> and trying to get along with it, even though she's no one she says she is at all, and it's really fun. And I read this book like a million years ago. But then I read it again uh, recently, like last year, and I didn't really remember anything. It's really funny because I normally remember the books. And the last one I, could, I don't have a copy, I don't know where mine is, is Cat Among the Pigeons, which is set at a uh, sort of private upper class uh, British boarding school. And yeah, it's mystery and death and girls weighing over their heads. Part 3 Teen Fantasy. So we got Percy Jackson and the Heroes of the Olympus, the Magnus Chase series, and uh, the Trials of Apollo. Oh, and uh, the Cain Chronicles. Norse mythology, Norse mythology, Egyptian mythology, Greek mythology, Roman mythology, and the books have gotten progressively more diverse, more <laughs> to the Pullman. It's about the girl and her demon, which uh, go against the church and everything. And obviously, Harry Potter. Queer YA books. So I've got The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is also one of my favourite books ever. It's ever to one because it deals with like homophobia, violence, drug abuse, child abuse. Ugh. Empress of the World, which is private school, boarding school, FF, the happy ending. It's really cute. Uh, anything by Nina Cruz. The first one I read was Everything Leads to You. We Are Okay, that's about grief, and uh, You Know Me Well, that it's really fun because it has a, like, literally a cast for gay, there's nothing but uh, queer things. Queens of Geek by Jen Wan, that takes place at like Comic Con like convention. Uh, lead with and like an autism, which is really cool. I realized that I forgot some few books. Some contemporary Little Brother, which is all about surveillance culture and broken against it. And then there's Pirate Cinema, which is all about the remix and copyright fights. It's fantastic. Gay Teens, it's uh, Her Name in the Sky, which I read a while ago when I loved. Because it's about kids in Catholic school. I related uh, strongly to that. And of course there's the classic uh, Annie on My Mind, which was written in the 1980s, but it still resonates a lot. There's this book that's about gay World War II whack pilots, you know, women's auxiliary corps. So, of course, it was like particularly written for me and I couldn't help but basically imagine people like handcuffs and car dampers there. The book is called Silver Wings. So, I do have a couple of uh, head recommendations. Um, one is a modern PMP version. Obviously, Pelham Pages is always a manly compared. It's this modern version called Boots and Backpacks, which is about Liz and Darcy hiking the Appalachian Trail, and it's really cool. And one of it I found amusing, called Good One I Don't Want, in which this girl she runs into like this guy, she like, and, and, I don't know, high school girl or something like that, and they go on a date, but it's like, got real bad, and then they keep sort of running into each other, and it's like, oh, ah, you're ruining my life. It's fun. Oh, and one I miss from, uh, Agatha Christie, it's 450 from Python. I think it has more smartphones in it, but like Miss Marple's getting old, so she needs someone else to help her, so she brings in this other girl. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.